Hey all my fellow maniacs out there, it's your favorite webcomic maker, animator, inspirator and motivator here to help you on your creative journey. And today I will be talking about the biggest project I'm planning to do in 2022, which is a full on animation project, which I'm very excited about and I really want to get into it. But before I go any further in this video, if you guys enjoy the content that I do and you would like to see more, I suggest you get on down to that like button and smash that like button and then go on and subscribe if you want to see more as well as ring that notification bell if you want to be notified of any other content i do on this channel so i'm going to talk more so over what this project's about why am i doing it and the challenges i will be facing for this project as i move on through the video as well as the deadline and my final thoughts on it so obviously the main idea behind this animation is actually building some more lore onto my existing webcomic the merchant of ignatius if you haven't checked it out i suggest you do links are in the description down below if you guys want to check out any of the projects i'm working on so as i've said this animation will be based on the current webcomic that I've done, The Merchant of Ignatius, and the story will revolve more around the original Merchant of Ignatius, Ko Bosan, which is also kind of a very impactful person within the Merchant of Ignatius universe itself, and it'll be interesting to explore that character more. And I've done some artwork for the guy, he looks pretty badass, pretty cool, I'll probably pop it up on screen. So I don't actually have a full-on story yet for this project. Um, I'm still working on the storyboarding and exactly planning out and scripting out everything. And with this project, I really want to test out my skills as an animator, at least a 2D animator, because I've predominantly done 3D animation. I mean, it's only been a few weeks and I'm getting really good at like catching the beats of 2D animation. But I think that comes very natural for me as I am a professional animator. Whether it's 3D, it doesn't really matter because within 3D, you also have to catch certain beats. It's just with 2D, you're doing it with a little bit of a different rhythm when it comes to making the animations. And that's kind of the challenge here. But I'm actually catching the beats pretty well. And I think by the end of this year, I'll actually really refine my 2D animation skills. That's really where the animation will shine when you really polish it up. You know what I mean? So that's that's going to be very interesting right now i'm just seeing the rough drawings but the thing about art is you can't really tell how the finished project will look so the only way i'm going to really see how good of a project this thing is is if i push myself through and get to the end of the hallway so i can open up that door you know what i mean so far uh it hasn't been that challenging as of right now but i definitely see some challenges coming up and i think i'll be setting the deadline to the end of this year sometime like coming closer to the deadline it's really gonna push me to make some changes and that that's the thing i want you know that's the thing you want as an artist because what happens when you get to a deadline is there's still so much to do in such a short little time you're going to find a little bit of work around around certain things that you need to do here and there and my skill really to improvise i think will really lend its hand to this animation and i will really love to see what this end product will look like even if it looks like crap you know at least i finished it you know at least i put something out there and i feel like it's really gonna be a really cool project to work on so so why am i doing this am i just completely out of my mind just doing a complete 2d animation in i think a few months maybe less than a year at this point it's probably like 10 months right now <laughs> am i completely out of my mind yes i am you know and that's really what's gonna lend its hand to actually doing some crazy stuff with this project this is my really experiment of nature and i'm gonna have to really dive into some crazy depths of scientific madness to actually pull some of the crazy things off that i actually want for this animation but it's more so over finding a little bit of a shortcut here and there that makes the animation still look good but it saves up time in the process and that is really what i'm looking forward to as well i really want to push my skills with blender as well as grease pencil and hopefully make some really awesome breakthroughs that i will see definitely by the end of this project it's really going to push that limit you know of uh, what i can really do with blender as well as the limitations of blender and grease pencil so it's really looking awesome it's also going to lend its hand to my webcomic uh, process with blender and grease pencil which you can guys can check out i'll leave a card up above so you guys can check out my process with that as well if you guys are interested and i'm really interested to see exactly how the shaders will play into this uh, in terms of the 3d shaders for my 3d backgrounds because i want things to look drawn and i think so far i've kind of perfected that style in a certain way although i feel like it needs improving so in this way for this project as well because it's gonna have to fit the mold so to say of the actual drawings so the 3d backgrounds are also gonna have to fit my drawing art style and that's gonna be 
be also a very big challenge that i'm looking forward to kind of pushing through there's many other challenges i can see coming up as well in terms of keeping consistency of the characters faces the emotions is going to be a big thing i'm not sure even on voice actors really because uh, i don't know who's going to do the voices mostly me i guess and my wife i'm not quite sure uh i'll i'll see you know maybe my friends will help out here and there but i don't really know you know otherwise it's just up to me and like whoever i can find really to do the voices otherwise i'm gonna have to leave it straight up to animation just kind of keep the expressive nature of the animation without any voiceovers and that's gonna be a challenge of itself as well and also at the same time i will be making youtube videos live streaming and i will also be doing my web comics in the background play reapers as well as pray for love which is two other web comics i'm working on as well as this animation so it's gonna be very interesting how i manage my time so far i feel like it's all right it's fine you know blade reapers i will be getting out and blade reapers will be a bi-weekly schedule so that's also gonna save up some time for me uh pray for love is gonna be weekly but it's very short uh, episodes so that's also fine for me as well i'm gonna put my all into this animation and see what comes out at the end you know what i mean as well as i've been also experimenting with other platforms and other things you know uh, as i go along uh i recently discovered deliab very interesting platform love the the way it works love all the ui you know as well as how you can set up your own delia page very interesting i love it um you guys can check that out as well and you guys can maybe create your own pages it's a very good way to actually monetize your artwork as well it's not really a big following but eventually i think there should be a decent following but if you have a decent fan base delia app is definitely for you like you can really get your fans involved with your work as well as there's an app for your phone as well so you can stay notified of anything that comes in um there's other sites like voice me that i've tried as well um those are the two that i'm kind of really liking at the moment of course i'm still gonna upload on webtoon and tapas but uh webtoon is kind of being a bit weird with me so the city of clones are down for now because uh, they said it was too inappropriate which is kind of fair enough but i mean i've seen worse with other webcomics i don't know exactly what was inappropriate about it it'll be awesome if they actually told you hey this is the thing that was wrong with your webcomic you know but they just said uh, inappropriate so either way someone reported me or the people at webtoon just were like uh this is inappropriate and they just took it down but it's still out on tapas all my projects will be out on dilly hub as well so as well as voice me so i mean there's still many places to go if you guys haven't seen the city of clones yet, i suggest you do it was one of my biggest breakthroughs with the blender process creating an entire webcomic out of blender which is really my humble beginnings with this process so i suggest you actually check that out if you guys want to support me so back to talking about the animation that's coming out by the end of this year i'm planning to make it at least five to maybe 15 minute animation because it really depends on how much work i can actually put into it without it being too excessive at least for my health and for myself you know with me like working with everything else maybe by the end of this year i will decide whether or not i need to delay it or not but otherwise i might be a 10 minute animation it's not it really depends on what needs to all get done with this animation i haven't really planned it out yet as i've said you know i haven't fully planned it out yet but in the meantime i've actually been working on the final fight scene because it's a full-on frame by frame 2d animation fight scene so it's gonna take a lot of time obviously and uh i'm working on the biggest parts first and then i'm gonna kind of connect it up later that's what i'm planning on doing which is also known as the cto method which is kind of what i'm known for as well you know what i'm saying <laughs> representing the cto method here on top very good very crazy method uh, but it works so if you guys want to support me and this project as well that i'm working on there's a ko-fi there's a patreon you can support me anyway daily hub is also another option now so plenty of options to actually support me but the, actually the best and freest way to support me is actually just subscribing to the channel smashing those like buttons on the video Videos and enjoying the content also i'm planning to do a new update video on the merchant of ignatius law so that will be really awesome for the future just letting you guys know what's coming up next as well as if you guys want to see all the crazy things i do in blender and want to know more about my webcomic slash grease pencil slash blender process i suggest you check out this video over here thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye now